Hello and welcome to this, what I can only describe as a needle in a haystack. You need to buy this car, it's got a beautiful spec about it, it's a 520 diesel touring estate uh, and it's just super. So I'll start this near side front corner as we always do. Uh, we've got parking sensors to the front, we've got Zenon headlights, we've got a headlight wash um, and it is as I'll start to show you a really really nice example yes there's the odd chip here and there but we'll forgive it that it's done 57,000 miles the first thing we notice wheels haven't been curved and the tyres are great that must be new there's that much tread on there um, it's like a new Wellington it has got tons on it so there are as I said the odd little stone chip that you're going to need to uh, touch in as you can see there and that's gone on to whatever is it there bounced off and done the mirror as well so we've got a couple of little uh, little superficial little marks shall we say uh, on it as I come down the offside it's really nice and tidy no Asda rash but it has got I say the odd little chip and mark that find if I rub hard enough that'll come off maybe not but that will come off it's not broke the paint that's something on top bit of uh, magic g3 and that'll come off uh, rear wheel is great and again rear tire is super loads of tread on there although there is a little bit of corrosion in between the blades you might refurbish that wheel if you speak nicely to a bmw agent you might even do it under warranty although four years probably not um, at the back here as we look at it as i said it's a 520 diesel a little touch up just required on the back bumper you wouldn't paint it let's be honest but uh, it does need doing split rear window it's got this telescopic uh, liner there sorry it's beeping away because I'm stood near the sensors so that again falls down oh look at that I didn't know that it's so all electro electronic hey look at that isn't that clever oh I like that so I'll shut the boot is it power? No, it's not. But it has got, as you can see there, a reversing camera. Now, the back of this car, they've gone over the top. I am a little bit of a fan. Just let me knock it. Them parking sensors off. I'm doing my head in beeping away. So, this has got the load liner of all load liners. Look at this. I am a fan of load liners. It keeps the cars nice. I can easily sell them. All Velcro's in. All absolutely fabulous. We've got the toolkit here and we're complete with the locking wheel nut key. I always like pointing that out and then you can't ring me pecking my head saying it never had it in. So a ton of covers there. We've got, oh it's a double load liner. Oh that'll be to protect it when they're loading in and out coming this way. Oh how very clever. So there we go. I'm just going to show you underneath the boot floor. I don't know why but we can so I will so you've got additional storage under there as well look at that that is the best load liner I've seen in a long time so you got oh and it's even protecting the back here blimey right okay whatever floats your boat but there we go so coming down the offside again it's just really really nice the spec on it's great it's obviously been meticulously looked after um, although we do have a very slight scuff on that wheel again tyres great loads of tread on there and then coming down this side there's nothing really to speak about the odd little mark that's not broke the paint I think that'll flatten polish off and again front wheel is really nice uh, tyres good on there certainly above three millimetres now as I noticed on the front before it's done a few miles so there will be the odd chip here and there as we uh, as we all expect uh, little scuff there just wants a little smart repair between the two kidney grills these pop out that's dead easy to do and we've got the odd little stone chip that wants uh, addressing coming to the screen all the screen is good and then interior wise we've got the piano black fascia we've got full sat nav full bluetooth the full makariki it's got all the bells and whistles in here keyless go dual zone climate the list goes on and on full leather seats rear seats all good nothing to write home about there and we've got isofix in the rear now the 
thing that I'm coming to on this car, and as you know when I do the videos, I like to finish on a bit of a high. As I get in the car, as we look up, yes, ladies and gents, we've got the full panoramic BMW factory fit sunroof for it. Takes me back to the 70s where you used to stand on the passenger seat of your dad's car, hanging out the roof, looking at Blackpool lights. We're not that far away from there. It'll soon be September, the soon will be the big switch on. And let's be honest, no one wants to get out of the car in Blackpool these days. So you uh, you can view all the lights from the full comfort of your glass panoramic sunroof. Look at that. You'll never find another one of these. Uh, I can't do this car justice enough. Uh, 57,162 miles, it's covered. Now, service history is a bit of a service mystery. The service book is untouched. Now I can't believe that with the car, so I'll check that and I'll have the description typed up on the net. I'll get the book sent away for you so you've got it all. If we have a look in here though, we'll be able to just go into the uh, vehicle information on the iDrive, uh, vehicle status, and then down to service requirements. So it's not due a thing, so I know it's been in somewhere and been done. We'll try and track that down. So MOT, June 16, oil change, 14,000 miles or January 17 uh, engine ch or vehicle check uh, 14,000 miles or 17 brake fluid front pads rear pads so this car wants for nothing apart from a good valor and a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of getting at but not a lot let's be honest I'll tell you what I did like this cup holder it's a change holder by day and press this and it turns into a full blown cup holder all folds away. It's little things, isn't it? So we have two keys for it. We have an ashtray hidden away under underneath here. We've got a multifunctional steering wheel. We will have cruise control. I think, yeah, that's built into the steering wheel there. We've got auto wipers. We've got auto headlights. If you're going to buy yourself a BMW Touring, this is the one. It is simply. If Carlsberg did estate cars, this would be the one. It is cracking. So there you have it, winning bidder. Uh, please feel free to download the photos, get it on your website, ready to retail. It'll be gone before you know it. Thanks very much for watching, um, and I'll uh, see you when you pick it up. Thanks very much. Goodbye.